everyone so today i got quite a few parcels through the post all of them are makeup but different kinds of makeup like i got some special effects makeup and normal makeup so i thought that i would do like a makeup haul video thing because i'm so excited about all of this stuff and how many different looks i can use it for um i don't think i'll be doing swatches in this video this is just to show you guys what i got so yeah hope you enjoy guys right so first I'm going to show you the special effects makeup that I got and I bought all of these products from Screen Face. They have so much stuff to choose from, like literally I was, I just, there was so much stuff on there I was like I don't know what I want to get. But I knew from my makeup course that I wanted to get some of this silicone, I think it's silicone. Sculpt gel, scars, blemishes, moles and more. So basically with this you've got A, B and C and you mix A and B together and basically you've got to be really careful, like I bought these spatulas to go with it and I got these off of eBay, I just typed in spatulas and it came up. Um, and you literally don't want to mix any of these two together, like in the same pot, you've got to be really careful because once they start once they mix together they start moulding and going hard so basically you get a spatula and you put stuff on the palette and then you mix them together and then the C is used to like if it's not pliable just to help make it a bit more well, pliable and I've got it in clear so I can put my foundation over the top and add loads of blood and gore and stuff and I was going to do like gashes like a Chelsea smile and stuff like that with it so it's pretty cool and you know all those thumb things or finger things on Instagram that has it like so it looks like it's been sliced and pushed to the side they use stuff like this so I only got a small amount and the ones that I used on my makeup course was 100 grams but these are 50 and they're so cute, they come in a little pouch. But that was £25 I think. So it's not cheap but I can't wait to use it. Then I got some, it's kind of like scab blood but they run out, it's just like thick, thick blood. It's in a teeny tiny pot and it's from Ben Nye. <laughs> can't wait to use that I've already got some like watery liquidy blood so I thought I'd get some of that then I got some Cryolin Collodion now this stuff is awesome you literally, it can make you look like you've got scars and stuff but you've got to be so careful with this um, and you literally just layer it up and it tightens on the skin and pulls it in and then you put powder over the top and it literally looks like you've got like a scar like you can use it on your face but make sure you obviously don't get it in your eyes or nose or mouth or ears or anything like that but yeah so cool can't wait to show you guys this but yeah so cool and lastly from there I bought some face paints body paints face paints they are Chameleon Professional Face and Body Paint and I really wanted to get some of these so I could do some awesome looks over Halloween etc and it comes with a brown, white, black, pink, light green, light blue, dark blue, dark green, purple, orange, yellow and red. I think that's right, yeah. So that is really cool. And I love how each thing has a lid as well, so and you can move them around, so that's really awesome. Can't wait to start doing some Halloween looks for you guys. I won't be doing too many this year because I've only just started doing special effects makeup myself, but it's still gonna be super fun to try out some looks. Right, next, I bought some stuff from Boots. It's just NYX things but I really wanted to get some glitter like so much because I thought I'd do a cool glittery lip and stuff like that so I got these three glitters one in copper one in like a silvery colour it was called like crystal or something and then one red but I thought that was really cool um and yeah they're like face and body glitters awesome and then I also got their jumbo pencil eye pencil in milk I don't know, I just thought that like if I do any coloured eye makeup I could put this on underneath and it will just make the colour like stand out a lot more. So I thought that looked quite cool and everyone always raves about this and I never bought 
<laughs> and I'd never bought one before so I thought I'd start off with the white one just to that's pretty cool you know just so I can obviously I've got hooded eyelids so I wouldn't have this on there by itself because it would majorly creep but as a base so I could put so to make colours more, more vibrant like greens and blues and stuff like that that would be really awesome Excuse my hair at the moment, guys. It's still really wet. I literally like got out of the shower and I'm just waiting for it to dry. So, lastly, my favourite. This was. It seems pretty expensive because. Well, it came to ninety three pounds in total, including shipping. Well, shipping was a fiver. It was cheaper, but including the customs fee, blah 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 blah. It was ninety three pounds, but it works out for each lipstick and eyeliner about 15 pounds each so roughly the same as mac and it's kylie jenner lip kits like how awesome is this i've opened it but i haven't used any of them yet how nice is the packaging so nice and it's got like soft stuff so it doesn't get damaged got the little card and it says Thank you so much for purchasing your Kylie lip kit. I hope you enjoy it as much as I have enjoyed creating it. I put my heart and soul into each and every kit and I want to thank you for joining me on my journey. XOXO Kylie. <laughs> and basically I bought these two lip kits. They just look so nice. Like how nice do they look? and I bought them in Kristen and Exposed. I thought this was a really nice, like it wasn't bright red because I got a bright red from MAC. And obviously I got this color from Gerald Cosmetics which is 1995, which is awesome for autumn. But I thought this would look really nice. And then I've got Exposed because I haven't got a nude. And then I've just got this liquid lipstick in Candy K because I just love pinky lipsticks. And then I've got this metallic Kim K. It's awesome, it's like a copper colour and everyone knows how obsessed I am with copper. So yeah, this is what I bought from Kylie Cosmetics. And obviously in these two you get a lip liner as well. So I would use the exposed lip liner with with Candy K because they, you know, it's not really much difference. Like that will go really well. So that is my makeup haul this time. I cannot wait to show you guys like how I use these products. I'll mostly be doing a lip swatch video and post on these and everything else that I've done uh, or bought. If you liked this quick haul then please give it a thumbs up and if you like me then please subscribe down below. Thank you guys, bye!